Well, yes, there are settings like that, but we need to also recognize that when humans have ownership rights as a commons, a common property rights, they frequently can determine how many people should use, what seasons they should use. Uh, if you become familiar with a lobster fishery in Maine or any of a wide variety of other sustainable resources where we know they are sustain sustainable, you find that the people who are involved argue about it, talk about it, discuss it, found ways of, of adjusting their rules so they're adaptable over time to make their system resilient. They've got to be adaptable over time. And they grow trust in one another because if I'm going to be the good guy that doesn't harvest way out here, I'm going to be a good guy harvesting back so that together we go to sustainable yield. I've got to trust that you will do the same because if I'm a good guy and you harvest as much as you want, I'm a sucker. And humans don't like being suckers. And the presumption underlying this theory was that humans couldn't figure out ways themselves of avoiding being suckers. But what it is possible, if you enhance the way of people organizing and developing rules that match the systems they're trying to study and work with and live with, they can learn how to trust one another so they're not a sucker. But there's too much thinking that there's only one way of doing it. And so in many cases where people had evolved all sorts of fascinating complexity to deal with their complexity, the presumption was, if, you know, they weren't written down. Um, so uh, uh, colonial powers, for example, came in in Eastern Africa and said, oh, well, they're overusing they, the Maasai. They kicked them off of their land and uh, nationalized it, and then uh, made it much less, they didn't understand it, so they were over-harvesting. Um, and so we've got to understand the institutional diversity that is out there, because if we're going to actually protect biodiversity and not have just simple systems, but complex systems where there are many species interacting, we have to have local knowledge that's rich about those institutions, those ecologies. So we've got to have institutions that match the complexity of the systems that are involved. And those systems have to be complex. So uh, my motto will be build enough diversity to cope with the diversity of the world and allow multi-tier systems at multiple scales so that you don't try to have a uniform top-down panacea that's predicted to cure everything and instead of curing it, kills it.